Joining us this morning on The Blend is Robin Hawkins-Souls. She is a medical esthetician, a cosmetic specialist, and a permanent cosmetic specialist. You are at MSU Aesthetics and Laser in East Lansing. Robin, welcome back to The Blend. You trained and worked for years as a tattoo artist. What was it that inspired you to specialize in permanent cosmetics? Um, yeah, my mom was one of the first women tattoo artists in Michigan, so I kind of followed behind her her footsteps a little bit and then I have the medical background. I went to nursing school out here at LCC and um, yeah, it just it was one of those things that sparked me. I think when we were doing traditional body tattooing, um, I would have a lot of clients that would come in and say, you know, hey, do you do eyeliner or eyebrows and different things? And, you know, being a traditional tattoo artist, I was like, on your face? Probably not. <laughs> it sparked a big interest and yeah I did some training in Grand Rapids and yeah that was all she wrote and it's just it's taken off since then I've been doing it for over 15 16 years plus some maybe um but yeah I, it's just been a great benefit for women that are busy um ladies that you know they have done their brows for years and they're just tired and they're you know career women I do a lot for alopecia ladies um uh cancer survivors they go through chemo. Sometimes the hair doesn't grow back. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's been great. It's been a journey. And tell us more about your work with breast cancer patients and permanent tattooing options for them. Yeah. So with the breast cancer patients, the breast cancer survivors, um, first of all, they go through this, you know, a horrific journey that, that I think kind of evens out in the end and they feel a little better about themselves toward, towards the end. But um, you know, they go through reconstruction. Um, Dr. Zweihuis and Dr. Southern that are here at MSU, they do a lot of the breast reconstruct. Um, and a lot of times they opt out to not have rip, nipple reconstruction um, and just the tattoo instead. Um, so what I do is I, I do a 3D tattoo for them, kind of piece it all together. We talk about color, size, shape. Um, and it's nice. It just makes them feel, you know, whole again and, and a little bit better through something that's, you know, so horrific. And that's one thing I talk to my ladies about, you know, it's really unfortunate that they've gotten breast cancer and that they've had to go through all this, this trauma. But, you know, at the end of the day, there's some things that you get to choose, you know, like size and shape and perkiness and brown or pink, you know, it's like finally, finally they have control over something where they haven't had a choice in anything for a long time. So it's really nice. It's that really rewarding. That is a fascinating aspect of it that most of us don't consider unless you're going through that process. Robin, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, good seeing you, Deb. You too, take care. Okay.